All right, welcome back for another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, let's go and see why the body was obscured. Left him here, they did. Weak and frail, carried him by his arms, feet dragging behind, dropped him on the floor with a thud. No way to treat an alderman. No right, not right, but no better place for him, no. Lord Umberhort has found his way into my company. My tenderness I will share. It is that he deserves. Dried herbs and berries <coughs> pressed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. A box of musty clothing and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Foul rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. The genealogy of the Anglian kings of the Lindsay. Our king, wonder god, and wooden rule the shall be remembered. Their line is endless as a great sky, as they rule the land of the Lindsay. For the Brit Britons and the Anglians alike, we kneel to them. Okay. Okay, so was this just for the small loot? But wait a second, there is something I missed over there, which is higher than I am right now. Oh, over there. Come on! Jesus! Thank you. Wait, how do I get a flaming thing around here? <laughs> So I need an explosion pot. Oh. 
Not much of a threat we what? are. Divided and doing our best just to survive. Must be simple for them to sail past and spot the easy pickings. They'll get theirs eventually. We'd need to force every man in the Shire to carry a blade and serve in a permanent fear. It's just not feasible. Mm. Ah, the sea wolves are bloody nose a few weeks back. Thought they'd take easy plunder at St. Kex. But the gate held, and we rode them down to a man. Ah. Before I forget. Not sure about you. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> not so many ways we can make the evenings more interesting out here. <laughs> At least we've got some food. The leeches would probably agree, though I'm not sure about them. Much rather trust in God than the power of prayer. I think I was supposed to be able to speak with them, but the first time I pressed, it didn't allow me to. Okay, now the thing is, I need to destroy. Oh, maybe up there is there going to be something I can use? I'm really not getting this place, so... <laughs> okay. And all of this just for most likely or it's it is not even most likely it's all of this just for a small thing like those chests, those small ones. So it really was all of this just for a small chest. Okay. A 
won't be gentle if they spot me. Eivor! What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. He's been dead for some time. That was obvious by the state of his corpse. One of you knows more than you're letting on. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. You need a new elderman here, and it falls to King Cheowulf to make that choice. But once we find agreement, Eivor, the nobles here will convene a shy mood to select a new candidate. The winner will stand before the king for approval. Explain how this works, your shire moot. Our moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. <coughs> Someone in the Shire wants Hunbold dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire mood is a lawful, godly assembly. Hunwald will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hunbald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land, and I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor. A word, if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my God commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. <coughs> yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hunbiolf's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went to console him. I should follow her. Wait, where is 
Where did he... Didn't he run off here? Archer, where is Hunbold? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road, to the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. I must beg forgiveness from my god. The Lord lifts up the meek. We must praise him. Huh. Mm. Let me do this quest first. You have the wrong man! I've never heard of a Hoonwald! I can't even properly say the name! Is it Hoonwald or Hunwald? Ah, that hurt! Die! Won't take long! What concern is this to you, heathen? Seems there is a bounty out on Hunwald. <coughs> oh, he's ruffled some feathers, that much is clear. Do you know him? I do. Then the Lord truly is watching over me. Right place, right time. Thanks for saving my neck, stranger. I pray I can return the favor someday. Okay. Was this all the quest was about? So the quest was only to kill the guard because he thought it was in red. Okay. Not saying anything more.
Jeez, I'm getting really sleepy. So there might be, yep. So first one, the second one is over there. Pay for your sins. With me, brother. There's no this to inform you of the in indefinite explosion of Lord Undbjord, son from Lincoln. Lord Unhold was sent away from the city yesterday, a decision he readily disputed. This, coupled with his actions, suggests he will ignore this ruling and attempt to return to Lincoln. If seen, Lord Unwald is to be apprehended at once and brought before the council to answer for his transgression. Anyone caught sheltering Lord Unwald will face at minimum prolonged imprisonment. Yeah, they, they really didn't like the guy. <laughs> So that's the tree. Yeah. Go, father. Oh, these woods. I remember the days we spent here together. Um, no, you are not the only one. Hello? Eivor? Is that Eivor, what a pleasant <coughs> surprise. Would you drink with me? Unbold. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... Contemplate... <laughs> contemplate... The view. Be easy with your grief, Hunwald. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood for the rest of your life. 
No need to worry. For I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. <coughs> he liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorf of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A wise old oak. Yes. <laughs> Skull. Skull. And then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, G uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. So are we going to find this? Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come, and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor -ful, why come to England at all? Ah, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that <coughs> chance. By God, I just want to have that chance. Maybe... What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? No. What? Yeah, there are people watching you. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. What? You're going... There! That's the one!
Watch my lead. Die! Well struck. That's twice they've tried to kill you, Unwald. <laughs> and twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I'm serious, Hunvald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. Hunvald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. Mm -hmm. Unval, I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find a Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find a Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. ...then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Well... Keep watch over that one. <clears throat> Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. <clears throat> I don't doubt it. All right, guys. So, oh wait, oh, oh, and I have never been here. I thought I had. All right, but. This is going to be it for this episode, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave us a like, subscribe, there's a lot more Assassin's Creed to come, there's a lot more Immortals to come, and that would be all on my Twitch too, so if you want, down at the description section, there's a link to my Twitch where you can find me, most likely every day, even though I still need to figure a good schedule, but most likely every day. 
So on that note, I hope you have a nice day and bye-bye. See you next time.